Hey guys, it's Simone and I'm coming to you today with a unboxing video. It is late, 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 but I wanted to get this into you guys. So today's boxing video, unboxing video, excuse me, is going to be on my June Birch Box. And as you can see, Birch Box got a little makeover. Um, it is no longer pink. It is now in white. Ooh la la. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting right on to it, you guys. I've already opened it, and um, I just dropped the card, so hold on one second. <laughs> okay. Um, I've already opened the car opened the box, so I kind of know what's in it, so hopefully I can get through this pretty quickly for you guys. Probably not, because none of my videos are quick, but we're going to hope and pray that I am. Let's try. Okay, so this month's theme is Wonderlust. There that is, and I'm going to keep the card so we know what the items are. Okay, and I'm going to start with what I didn't like and what I could care less about in this in this um, this month's box. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I don't wear this stuff, so that's why I'm not excited about it. Um, so the first product is Couture La La, and that is 0 0.05 fluid ounces. It's a perfume sample, and this is by Juicy Couture. Um, I have sprayed it on me, and the full size price for this product is ninety to ninety dollars, and it's an okay smell. I'm not loving it. I'm not hating it. It doesn't remind me of a grandma. It's okay. Um, my husband thought it smelled good on me, but I just don't wear perfume, so I'm not really overly excited about it. So, man, yeah, I just tossed it. Uh, it's a heavy mix of mandarin, red currant, lily, and orange blossom. So that's the smells. Um, the next thing that we got in the kit that I was excited about is um, the Color Club Nail Polish and from the Wonderlust Collection in Rain in Spain. And this is a nail polish sample that we did get. Well, I got in my birch box. You know, birch box. Um, birch boxes are kind of uh, modified to your whatever you took on that little test and whatnot. So every birch box is a little bit different. So this is the color that I got in Rain in Spain. And, of course, you know in classic Moni fashion. Did you swatch your nail, Moni? I did. So, <laughs> there it is on my nail. This is Rain in Spain on my nail. And there's a the color in the bottle. So, if you are my skin tone, this is what it will potentially look like on you. Um, so, yeah, and it's a really, really pretty color. Oop, don't mind that blue. Sorry, I just... Well, well, we'll talk about that for 2.5 seconds. How about that? This blue nail is holding on for dear life. I'm telling you, like, I got a gel manicure. I'm sitting here leaning because I'm on my chase. I'm, like, all leaned up on the side. Uh, it, uh, it just won't come off, y'all. Like, this has been three weeks. Look at that mess. Well, not mess. I mean, that means I got my money worth out of it. But, Yeah. So, I don't know. Gel polish, it does work. It does stay. My hands have been in bleach, cleaning products, you name it. And this joker is like, it ain't budging. I mean, it's grown up because my nails grown, but that's about it. But, um, yes, back to this. This is a really pretty color, and that is what it does look like on my skin tone. As you can see, it's a pink, peachy kind of color thing going. So, it's really, really pretty. Really pretty summer color. Next, I got... Suki Face Exfoliate Foaming Cleanser and Lemongrass Extract Plus Natural Sugars. And this is a 0.25 fluid ounce. Oh, sorry. And this is $8 in a full-size product. Um, and this is the Suki Face. This is how it came packaged. There's that. And um, the smell... It smells really, really good. A really clean smell. It does have a heavy lemongrass smell. So if you do not like lemongrass, you are not going to like this. Um, it has a sugar scrub consistency to me. It's a little grainy. I don't know if my camera will pick up the texture of the um, of the scrub. It's not really picking it up, is it? But it's really grainy. Nope, not gonna pick it up. Okay, but yeah, it has a sugar scrub texture. So if you know what a sugar scrub looks like, that's what this kind of looks like in the jar. So, but it smells really, really good. And I'm gonna, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it with my Sonic skincare system, which that is basically like a well, um, 
imitation Mia 2. Um, so, and I really love that product. Check out my product review video. I love that thing. It has really helped my face. That's why I haven't, you haven't really seen me wear a lot of makeup, facial makeup, or I, because my face was jacked. It was just doing the most. So now I'm basically just to eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, mascara and lip gloss. That's it. But my face is really, really clearing up. So I'm happy about that. But that's a total another tangent. On to the next product. <laughs> um, this was the extra in the box this month. Um, it's Matchbox Itty Bitty Files by Tweezer Man. And um, these full size are $5. And it's just a little packet of um, itty bitty files. You know, these are always good to keep in your pocket, around the pocketbook, or around the house. For when you just need to file your nail, got a hangnail, something that you just needed to you know, a rough nail, you broke your nail, just needed to just working on out. So those are always good, handy dandy. And um, I don't know if I said it or not. If I did, I'm probably about to repeat myself, but the full size of the Suki is $32.95, if I didn't tell you of that. But onto the product that I loved, that I was super excited about, that I'm really happy that I got. Um, it is the Miranese Glossy Kiss. And I believe this is the full size of this product. And the color that I got was Flirty Kiss. And this is a lip, a lip stain as well as a cheek stain. And there it is. That's the color, and what you guys are like, money, what does it look like? Well, you're looking at it on my lips. You've been looking at it for approximately 6 minutes and 35 seconds. Um, so this is, on my lips, would be the Marinese Flirty Kiss Lip Stain, Lip Balm, whatever you want to call it, on my lips. I think it's more of like a lip stain, so I'm going to call it a lip stain. Um, Because it's not really a lip gloss. So, in my opinion, it's not a lip gloss, it's like a lip stain. So, yeah. And it's really pretty, and the color is Flirty Kiss, and that's how it's packaged. Let's see if you can see that. So, and it's really, really, really pretty. Like, that's a pretty red. And I kissed my hand a long time ago, and it's kind of, um, yeah, not as bright as it used to be, <laughs> but. It's been on my lips for a while, and of course, it had a more glossy look a little bit of, a little bit ago. But let me see, yeah, I can get a little bit more vibrance going for you guys. And that was just one. Look at that, how much of a transfer, I mean, a difference that that one little did to my lips. Like, and it's a really like this is a beautiful color. I'm really, really excited about this. So you can either do it, it's just to do it as a gloss, it's apply it to your lips. If you want to get a more matte finish, blot it, of course. And then for your cheeks, for doing a cheek stain, just add, I can't talk, y'all. Apply to the apples of your cheeks and just blend in that way. But I love, 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 love this. And a full size of this is $26.55. And I believe this is the full size product of this. If not, this is a massive deluxe sample. But I think this is the full size. Um... Doesn't really have a taste. No. No taste. Um, no smell. Um, I tried it. I kissed my husband with it. Um, he didn't mind it at all. He said it wasn't too too sticky at all. My matte glosses are ten times more sticky than this. Um, so yeah. Um, as hey, men don't like the sticky gloss, ladies. Mm mm. We think it's cute. It's cute on us. When we kiss them, they be like mm mm. They just don't like it. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, my husband said this is pretty cool. So, and it's a pretty color. But this is gorgeous. Like, I don't have any, of course, like I said, I don't have any makeup on my face. I don't have any lip liner on. This is literally just this by itself on my lips. My lips don't feel dried out at all. And I've had this on for, before I applied that extra, probably for at least an hour. So, yeah. That's, that was me with it on after an hour, and I had something to drink. So, it's pretty good. Um, so, recap, I got the lip pencil, which I just talked about for like a minute and a half. It's a change. <laughs> this, uh, the Foaming Skin Cleanser. The Nail Polish by um, Color Club. We got the Files. The Itty Bitty Files by Tweezerman. Tweezerman. And... I done threw that <laughs> and the Juicy Couture, which I can't find because I, oh, there it is. <laughs> That's like I threw it. I don't even see it anymore. Um, little 
perfume sample. So that was a birch box that I received for June. Um, am I ex happy about what I received? Yes. Will I cancel? No. I am really still excited about the products and how they've been, the, what I've gotten in all the months I've been receiving birch box. I think this is my, maybe my fourth box, maybe my fifth. I'm not too sure. Um, so yeah, I love it. It's $10 a month. I think it's well worth the money, um, especially if this is a full-size product and it's $26 by itself. This by itself was worth the whole box and then some. So yes, I'm happy because I love that color on my hand and that, that is just gorgeous. And I love this color on my lips. So I'm super duper excited. So yeah. And now I'm just rambling, so I'm about to close out this video. Um, so, hello to all my new subbies. I see I have some new ones. So, hi! And thank you for subbing to me and all my old subbies. Hi! Thank you for still putting up with me. <laughs> and continuing to watch me. I really, really appreciate it. You guys rock. Um, reminders, stay tuned. I will be doing my Big Chop video on... Sunday at 12 o'clock and I'm super excited about that and just for you ladies that do not know what a big chop is that, you, that are subbing to me a big chop is something that us african-american women do when we decide to no longer put chemicals in our hair um, we will cut the relaxed hair out which is what we chemically relax our hair we'll cut that relaxer out and then just wear our natural hair with no chemicals in it so that's what that means I'll be cutting off probably about six to seven inches of my hair that's all and it's, it's just a big deal <laughs> for us that, you know, go through that transition and then do that. It's just, so that's what that, when I say big chop, that's what I mean when I'm about to do. So, um, you guys stay tuned for that because I really want to get that video and I'm going to share it with you guys. So hopefully one of my girlfriends show up so I can get that to you. If not, it's going to be on my phone and I'm going to be like this in the chair trying to get it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be horrible and you know i'm still loaded <laughs> that's how i do but um thank you again for subbing um rate comment subscribe and as always you guys be blessed and until next time toodles